Hello, life artists. I'm Barbara, and welcome to the place where we embody our creative work. Now, if you think that you're having any any problem like doubt or all of these things, what if I reframed it for you, and instead of having all of these self-image issues, you're actually just having an energy issue? Want to find out what I mean? Check out this video. There is no life without energy, duh. Not for you and definitely not for your project. Now I propose that most of us, most of the time, we don't have a motivation issue, we don't have a self-doubt issue, we aren't inherently nasty, lazy, incapable, we don't have an issue of focus or a problem disciplining ourselves. What we're actually struggling with is our states in our body and how we promote and maintain states of being that just aren't interesting to us. They don't give us pleasure or they don't give us energy. Or we are promoting states that give us energy, that make us joyful, excited, um, full of life, yeah? <laughs> now what we're doing instead is we're practicing actually to repeat states of being where we're living in anxiety and stress, boredom, where we agree to do things that we actually don't like, what we don't find pleasure in, and yet we pretend we do. Now I want to talk to you today and train with you about how is it that we can ex uh, shift our experience to ones that meet our desires, meet our joy, create pleasure, and most importantly, shift our physical energy. In the creative process, once we have allowed ourselves to dream and chosen something that we're excited about and really ready to go for, yeah, motivation and focus and discipline, they're not really the issues. Truth is, you love your dream project, but often the thing that feels like lack of motivation or stress or anxiety is simply, and I mean very simply, a physical state of energy. Now, when we're low on energy, our body experiences it immediately. When we have little energy or the opposite, we're amped up and super anxious, this immediately starts to affect our brain states and our thought process, our ability to focus, to concentrate, and to be attentive. Our muscle control is the next thing. Our heart rate, our breathing, our blood pressure then change and then respond to all these brain chemicals. And all of this affects eventually our feelings and ultimately creates the experience of what is happening. Often based on this chain reaction, then doubt and distraction begin to take over, okay? We then start, you know, creating this doubt and distraction, right? We need a banana and suddenly we start getting like low focus, low energy like this. And then or we start contracting around it, getting cranky. And then we have a feeling, and this is when we start telling ourselves the favorite game of how shitty we are and how we can even prove it. Just look at our state of productivity, our state of uh, productivity and, and the mood are just grouchy and we're not getting shit done. And then we say, what's wrong with me? And then we feel all kinds of our favorite feelings, which is worry and pressure and guilt. And this spirals out into, I suck, my project sucks, and no one loves me. <laughs> now the thing is, when you are spiraling out in your minds and in your moods and in your chemicals, yeah, all those chemical reactions, your body is just trying to get your attention and pass a very simple message. It's trying to say, hello, I need some energy. But because we are obsessed with our mind movies, jacked up on all these molecules of emotion, we forget to make a needed reality check, i.e. body check. Now, if we did, we would quickly understand that this experience I'm having, this emotional mind trip, yeah, has more often to do nothing with our project or with our lack of motivation or our shitty self-image. It has very simply to do with our energy level. Now, remember, when we are operating from survival mode, yeah, we're not interested in our project. We're interested in eating, shitting, running, sleeping, surviving, staying alive. Now, in order to have optimal states of flow, we must get into 
thriving mode, okay? We must create and maintain states in which we feel well, nourished, alive, and this, above anything else, very basically means to manage and take care of our levels of energy. Now guys, it means basic things, like eating, like moving, like resting, like breathing. Without energy, we cannot create. Now, I maintain that most of our creative crises have nothing to do with our self-image or how good or bad we are, but instead is an energy issue. Bodily signals to move, to breathe, to eat, to relax, to rest, which I pay attention to, and if I do, allow us to maintain optimal states of energy and then be attentive to the fluctuations that my energy is happening and recalibrate this, yeah, attention to optimize my experience. Now instead, we've turned this into this like normal biological signal into an emotional reaction about myself, yeah? But it's true, I mean, we all know about it. You're having the worst panic attack you've ever had and you realize you haven't eaten since yesterday. You just can't focus and your hours on Facebook and suddenly you realize, wow, I haven't moved, I haven't peed, I haven't stretched in hours. I just chewed out my co co-worker and then went into a guilt spiral before realize, re realizing I haven't slept for more than five hours each night. Yeah? What if during your next existential crisis around your ability as a creative being, you could recognize and check into your bodily states of energy level and change it? What if instead of responding to a simple message from your body with random conclusions about your self-worth, you instead just gave your body what it's asking for, energy. Now in today's training, we're gonna learn to be attentive to our bodily states of energetic flow, yeah? So that you can gain cohesion, yeah? Between your mind and body states, so that the next time we fall victim to hunger, we feed ourselves instead of falling victim to your doubts and feeding yourself mean talk and all kinds of terror scenarios in your mind. All right, welcome to this week's training. We've been talking about energy levels and especially really how our energy is the fire that gets your creativity really burning. Without energy, ain't no chance you're gonna get your stuff out there and in the world because without this energy is what fuels us to get stuff done. So today we're gonna raise up our energy really intensely and drop them into creative flow states, which is, involves a lot of relaxation. So let's get started. We're gonna just go for it. We're gonna jump, raising our hands in the air. Now, absolutely, guys, we're gonna raise quick energy. So, open your mouths and really breathe. And take a breath. And we're gonna just jump, grabbing your knees as if. Breathe in between each jump. Remember, it's about raising energy and dropping it down. And take a breath, relax, take a deep, full, full breath. Feel this warmth in your legs and your feet. We're gonna start with our right leg and we're gonna kick forward five times to each side. Your foot is perpendicular. And five times to the other side. Now, if your leg doesn't go up high, no problem. You find how far it is. Stand, take a breath. Now we're kicking backwards. Your heel is leading. Five quick back kicks. Now the intent here is not to bend totally, but to really kick backwards. Take a breath, and the other leg. And stand, take a deep breath. 
<sighs> now we're going right and again, 90 degree angle with your leg, with your foot. And the left side. Open your mouths, guys. Most of us, we start raising energy and we're so conditioned to keep our mouth shut that we, mm, our mouths are meant to have a lot of quick, easy energy. Ah, and just feel and breathe this sensation of quick energy that we've achieved. Mm. Okay, now just start to bend your knees and go up and down. Feel, really feel your oh, legs right now. We're raising this earthy, leggy feeling. And now stand, and now jump, and land on your heels. And let this energy now that we're quickly raising, drop down. And now stand, feel this movement down. Take a deep breath. Now, your hands are going very high up onto your rib cage. You're around like this. And we're gonna breathe five times quickly in, expanding your rib cage. On the fifth time, you're breathing out and pushing. Here we go. Now relax your arms, take breath. Bring them behind your head and what we're doing is we're breathing in and breathing out with your head down. Feel the movement downward in your body as you breathe out. A gentle stretch in your neck. Relax your arms. Bring your hands to your belly. And we're going to open them low, breathing in. Breathing out to the diaphragm. Breathing in to the sides, breathing out to the chest, breathing in up, breathing out to the belly. Let your knees be soft, open out. Start really paying attention to this movement downward of your energy. this movement. Now we're going to start what's called stopping movement. Stopping movement is every time there's a beat, you are stopping your movement and looking for a new movement. That means it's training your creativity, guys. We are very routine in our movements. So what we're going to do is we're going to move big, big movements, and we're going to make it as light as possible. Get your head, get your feet. You find yourself doing the same four movements. Shift. Go up, go behind you. Get your legs involved, get your head involved. 
and light. Stop. Breathe. Take a very simple in breath. Feel the kind of movement that's starting. Feel the warmth in your body. And now we're going to bring our hands up the body. chest, let your mouth be open, take breath, and particularly notice the out breath. Let this energy, don't reduce your breath, some of us need to really breathe right now, and let it go down. <sighs> now we're going to do a silence exercise, you're going to bring your hands into a small triangle in front of your low belly. Yeah? We're going to make a small circle in front of our low belly. It's not a big circle. It's a very small circle. All you're doing is, without effort, moving in front of the body. Now you're breathing in, and your pelvis is going back. When the circle is out, when your hands are coming towards your body, your pelvis is moving forward, and you're breathing out. In. And out. And find your own rhythm that matches your body. Relax your pelvis, relax your knees, relax your shoulders. <sighs> Let your eyes be defocused. That means really wide perspective with your eyes. <sighs> now, if this is a strange movement for you, it's okay. You're, it's new. For your brain, it's meant to be strange. It's meant to put your brain into a kind of theta state. We're working on using energy and then dropping it into a lot of relaxation and silence for flow states. <sighs> Feel if you're relaxing your knees. <sighs> Notice if you start making effort in this and just relax back down. <sighs> start to feel a bit funny or shaky, that's just part of this, your body relaxing into this state of silence. See if you can relax your head a little bit, let it move a little bit and keep going. <sighs> Ah, 
And now relax your hands. Take a deep breath. Let your knees relax. Close your eyes. Let your body find places where it's needing to move. <sighs> your neck and spine relax our bodies it's okay for them to move breathe up into your chest and agree to feel this flow state of a lot of energy that's now dropping into passivity which doesn't mean passivity of the couch it means focused and clear energetic states of flow now if you find yourself getting yeah funky in your creative flow raise up quick energy and then drop it down into passive states yeah so we're not all like this but we just have a lot of clear focused energy and definitely you can do this training anytime during the week you can make any of the exercises longer okay and definitely stay tuned for the rest of this video where we are going to be talking about some implementation questions and our creative conversation with our community so definitely stay tuned so how do you feel now? Now feel free to use any part of this physical training whenever you're, you wish to explore and affect your levels of energy. Or use it to train each, every day. A daily framing of your creative expression allows you to practice creative flow. Now I recommend it, I recommend it, I recommend it. Your body knows how to be in flow, but training the states of focus that you want demands practice. So practice being and embodying optimal states of creativity and experience what this does, not only in your energy level, but in your creative flow. Now, <clears throat> if you want to dive in deeper into your practice, there's implementation questions below, things to make you think, things to research. Just make sure that while you're implementing, stay physical. And now I wanna hear from you. Let's get in on the conversation by jumping over to Life Artist Community Blog join in this creative community it's where we hear from each other from around the world so get in there and support each other as i always say i think creativity is all about collecti collectively shifting and changing something so collectively let's we think this situation now, if you love what i'm doing share this with others comment contact us definitely sign up for this page Sign up for different, you know, media channels and absolutely if you're serious about up leveling your creative power Join me in my next live conscious creator workshops sign up for my newsletter to get exclusive content Access to much more frame training and all the info for upcoming workshops in your area Looking forward to seeing you there and thank you so much for joining me and remember You are the creator and your experience is truly in your hands